I am Donovan Harrison, author of Last Two Surrenders. my prayer, I plead. He is dressed in his own Osage dance costume. Last to Surrender is a novel of a people, a war, and of a man. It is told by a young man in his late teens. The people are the Cherokee, people who were forcibly removed from their homes in Georgia to the Indian ter Territory, which is now Oklahoma. The war is a civil war, a dark and bloody time in American history. The man is Stan Waddy. His skills of battle were such that when the Confederacy saw them at the Battle of Pea Ridge, he was recommended to be promoted from colonel to general, or so it is said. The boy is January Callahan. He is not dark like his lifelong friend, Little Beaver, and he is often mistaken for white. For those who do not know, the Cherokee had a liberal adoption policy. It is said January had a new and most modern rifle. It was an 1860 Henry, and once loaded, it would shoot many, many times before it needed to reload again. But the rifle had cost him dearly. It had cost him five horses. Four of the horses were not important, but the fifth horse was had a coat the color of his girlfriend's hair, and he planned to tie it in front of Red Wing's father's house as a proposal for marriage. At this time, January had two goals in life. One was to prove himself as a mighty hunter, and the second to get under Red Wing's skirts. The new rifle was a tremendous help in the first, but it helped not at all in the latter. Not until we stand before the white preacher and say our wedding vows, Red Wing said. At last the white preacher came to town and they were married. Soon after they were married, the Civil War came and the Cherokees were divided again. Some favored the North, but most favored the South. Stan Wadey was one whose sympathies was with the Confederacy. Principal Chief John Ross called for an assembly of the chiefs to decide on whether or not to call for a general assembly and let the Cherokee people vote on such matters. Here it is said that Stan Wadey gave a most rousing speech and the general assembly was called unanimously. However, when the general assembly met, however, Stan Wadey was absent. He was in Arkansas with his 2,000 brigade of uh, Cherokee Mounted Rifles and was on the move north driving the Federals from Missouri, or so it is said. <clears throat> Many know of the Eastern Battles. Few know of the Battle of the Mules, the Battle of Fallen Timber, the Battle of Honey Springs. Were they important? It depends on which side of the Mississippi you live on. When General Lee surrendered at Appomattox in April of 1865, he surrendered only the Army of Virginia, not the entire Confederate forces. Other Confederate forces fought on until they were overwhelmed one by one. At last, late June of 1865, General Stan Waddy dismissed his men and then surrendered. The last Confederate general to surrender.